Hi everyone, this is Kiran Kumar. Hi everyone, this is Kiran Kumar. Welcome back to our channel. Today, current affair is which of the following statements are correct in respect of non-performing assets (NPA)? One, an asset is classified as NPA if the borrower fails to repay. Interest or principal for a period of 90 days or more. Do NPA only include loan loans given to corporate entities and do not apply to individual loans? Three, the provisioning coverage ratio. Misuse. The content extends to which a bank has provided funds to cover its NPS. Select the answer using the code given below. Option A, 1 and 2 only. Option B, 2 and 3 only. Option C, 1 and 3 only. Option D, 1, 2 and 3. Your count on start now. 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one. The correct answer is C. The provisioning or covering coverage ratio measures the extent to which a bank has provided funds to cover its NPS. Explanation: Statement one is correct. As per the River Bank of India. Guidelines. A loan is classified as a non-performing asset if the borrower fails to make interest or principal payments for a continuous period of 90 days or more. This rule applies to term loans, overdraft facilities, cash credits and other type of advances. Statement 2 is encouraged. NPAs are not limited to corporate loans. They also include loans given to individual borrowers, small businesses and other entities. Any loan, whether it is for a corporate firm, a small business or an individual such as home loan, personal loan or vehicle loan can become an NPA if repayments are not made for 90 days or more. Statement 3 is correct. The provisioning covering reg ratio PCR is a metric used in banking to indicate how much provision a bank has set aside for bad loans, NPS, compared to the total NPS, a higher PCR provisioning coverage ratio means that the bank has made adaptive provisions for its NPS reducing the risk of financial instability. Source, the Hindu newspaper Page number 10. Thank you for watching. Talk to next one. Still there. Bye. Take care.